All right, hello Scorpion, welcome back to my channel. This is your next 48, uh, episode not eight and nine, uh, I'm on nine and 10. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure I correct that on the title. All right, but this is your next 48, not for today. I believe it's the nine and the 10th because the day is the eighth. All right, but I'll fix that later, but this is your next 48. All right, first of all, shout out to Derek J for restoring my tresses. All right, thank you so much, Derek, okay? Um, Derek is a scorpion. All right, so let's see what's going on with you, scorpion, sun, moon, rising, and the north node. Let's see um, what the important messages are. I am getting something clear audiently. I'm hearing the word re for you. Um, reopen, regress, repeat, retract. So re, Rx, retrograde. Okay, so you have to go back in the past for something or you're going to have to redo something, but uh, Mercury goes into retrograde on the 16th in Piscean, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so that could be very significant for you, a very significant time for your business, for your relationship. All right, it is a fellow water sign. Okay, let's see. Show me the important messages for Scorpion. All right. What's happening? Okay, the King of Swords. Okay, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I see you having a very professional, very formal uh, conversation with somebody, depending on what it is. Looks like it may be business. All right, we have the Five of Pentacles that you can't seem to match. Okay, so I'm getting, I'm getting there's a conversation here that you don't really understand, or you don't understand why somebody's not communicating, or why somebody's being cold and rigid towards you. But I'm also getting, too, someone is trying to tell you something, explain something, speak to you, and you just don't get it, or you just can't seem to wrap your mind around whatever this air sign is saying to you. Maybe they're, maybe they're speaking over your head, or they're using terms you never heard before. Yeah, we have the Hermit card, and then we have the Three of Cups. Okay, there's going to be a short pause here with you and someone else. If you're dating someone, and right now you guys are not speaking, you guys are not talking, you're lonely, they're lonely, there's going to be a reconciliation after some deep pondering or deep thinking. It could be a Virgo in. Yeah, because I'm getting a lot of mercurial energy here. You could be dealing with a Virgo in. Someone who's very quiet, uh, reclusive. All right, a hermit is, all right, so somebody who kind of like, they, this person needs to step back and kind of think about what they're doing, where they're going, or what they want, or maybe what they need to step back and think about, you know, how valuable you are, truly are to them. But I'm getting the five of pentacles. Okay. Because I'm, I'm also getting to, you met somebody new, it's an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aqua, Aries, so maybe you introduce someone I feel like you and maybe I feel like I'm not seeing your energy here, Scorpion. So I feel like these two people are at odds, and you're in the middle of it, or you are introducing this air sign and this Virgo in together. You, you're introducing them. I feel like these two people don't get along. They don't get along. All right. Well, not yet. Anyway, I do see them going out on a date. I do see you going out on a date right now. You're at odds with this person. Okay. So I'm getting it's the way that you two think. This person is. The king of swords, when I say the king of swords, I think of somebody who's very intelligent. Somebody is highly intellectual, maybe a little bit too much. This is someone who speaks intellectually all the time. They always use, not, they don't always use proper English because the king, the king of swords can have a potty mouth too. But this is someone who's very learned. They have, they have reached a level of mastery in a certain subject. So if this person knows about law, they know everything about law. They know, they know about cars. They know everything there is to know about cars. If they, they're talking about politics. They're, they know everything about that shit. So this is somebody who has. They study diligently, thoroughly, whatever the, whatever the subject matter is. Yeah, with the Virgo card too. Yeah, somebody is like a genius here. Somebody could be a doctor or philosopher, PhD is what I'm getting. I get philosophy with these two cards. So I see, because I, I kind of feel like Scorpion, there's something missing here. What's the Five of Pentacles? It's like, damn, did I miss something? Yeah, excitement, fun, enthousi uh, enthusiasm. Okay, this could be attraction too. There has to be attraction. I feel like it's because we have the Knight of Wands coming out. These two people are not attracted to each other or the, the Virgo is not attracted to the air sign. Maybe because the air sign is cold and rigid or something like that. I'm getting there's no sexual attraction here. That's why these two people are not going out or dating or there's no sexual attraction initially or there's no spark. There's no chemistry between these two people. But, because here you are, Scorpion, I feel like you see something or somebody... There is something here that you may see, like okay, they're not, they're not, they're not physically attracted to one another, but they're, they, they, they're, um, they're probably get along in an intellectual sense. It's kind of what, maybe what you're feeling or what somebody else is feeling. All right, what's the Knight of so Knight of Wands? I'm also getting too. Somebody could have set you up with someone, but you're not, you're not attracted to them, Scorpio. You're like no, they're, they're not attractive, or maybe, maybe like this person's a player, or maybe you didn't know that, or something like that. Yeah, the Five of Swords. Yeah, somebody is, okay. 
So I see somebody speaking to you about something, or I see you kind of watching this air sign speak to the hermit. And it's almost like the air sign is making fun of the hermit or looking down on the hermit or... Because the, 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 the Knight of Wands is my sage card. This could be too, like somebody is a foreigner, Jamaican, Haitian from the Caribbean, or, or they, they, um, they could be, you know, from the UK or whatever. But I'm getting like somebody who's, who's foreign here. This is like, I don't know what's really going on here, Scorpio. I, I just, I feel like you're, this could be the first time you're going out with this person and they're just, they're like kind of an asshole. I, kind of, I feel like somebody looks down on your knowledge or somebody looks down on you because you're knowledgeable. Or like somebody could be jealous that you're a sage or that, because I feel like you are, I don't know, uh, what is the three of cups? But you seem, you seem to think that these two people are, could get along or you want them to talk or something or what's the three of cups? Because I, I kind of feel like the king of swords is the, the one that's more open here, surprisingly. The air sign, I feel like over the Virgo one, the Virgo one is like, no, like the Virgo one is, you know, hermiting, being a hermit. But it's it's because of something that this air sign did. I'm not really okay. What's the what's the three of swords? I mean, three of cups. Yeah, the air the uh, air sign could be married as well, or they could be dating a whole bunch of other people. Okay, we have we have the uh, title card, the moon, and the two of cups. Okay, the justice. Okay. Yeah, so I'm kind of feeling like somebody looked down on you, Scorpio, and this person's not even attractive. You're not even attracted to them. Um, but I feel like somebody's very rigid or somebody, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really getting like somebody is really beside themselves or like somebody is, so, I, I have to say that somebody's even lucky that you're even speaking to them, talking to them, associating with them at all. I feel like somebody should be grateful that, you're, that you even gave them the time of day or you even, you even chose to spoke or anything like that. Because I feel like, Scorpio, you are fine as shit with the Knight of Wands. You're sexy. You're a sage. You're doing your own fucking thing. You're free. You're very intelligent. All right? I'm getting you're very sharp. You're, you're straightforward. Uh, you know, you don't, you don't bullshit. Yeah, so I'm getting like, yeah, so I feel like, Scorpio, you're saying this to someone like, yeah, you know, this person's very intelligent. They don't, they, they, they don't know bullshit. You're not about to play this person. So I feel like, I feel like somebody's putting in a good word for you, Scorpio, or you're putting in a good word for someone like, man, look, don't play. Or you could be telling this person, look, don't play. That's my friend. Don't play them. Like, for real, don't be on no fuck shit. Yeah, what's the king of swords? Yeah, because I feel like, Scorpio, you like this person. You're trying to... I don't know, maybe hook them up or look out for you or chill them up. You want them to go out. You want them to get out of their funk or whatever. Somebody is very sad. Yeah, because, yeah, I'm getting you like this person. You fuck with them. And I feel like somebody is kind of being mean. You're like, man, hold up, slow down. That's 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 my friend or, like, you need to chill out. What's the, what's the king of swords? Yeah, the six of swords. Okay, so this this person, they're, okay, they're going to come back around. Yeah, so somebody, I, I'm... I'm really getting like somebody had you fucked up, Scorpio, or somebody had one of your buddies fucked up. Like, now you got me fucked up. I fuck with this person. Like, we we cool. They, they're cool with me. They're affiliated with me and shit. So, yeah, so somebody, okay, the six of swords. Yeah, so I feel like this person, the, the, uh, okay, yeah, now somebody, yeah, because somebody is fine. Somebody is sexy and beautiful and gorgeous, okay, and very intelligent. I mean, like, somebody here is a scholar or like a, 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 like a sexy ass nerd or like somebody could be in school for philosophy. Like, someone's like a, a prodigy here. All right, but I, I feel like you like somebody's ignoring you, or the, the air signs ignoring this person, and you want them to talk, but the air signs act a little bit stuck up. But I'm I'm, I'm getting like Scorpio, you're saying like, look, like this person is like I don't know. I feel like Scorpio, you're saying this to someone like man, shit, like they fine as hell. What's 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 wrong? What's wrong with you? Like shit, you better you better you better get that or whatever. Okay, what's the hermit card? Yeah, because somebody's acting like somebody has like their nose turned up and you like, man, hold up, like you're not even that fine, you're not even all that. Like I'm I'm really looking out for you, like to put you with this person. I, I feel like this is really you, Scorpion. You're telling your person, you're telling your friend this, or your friends telling you this shit, like, man. All right, what's the hermit? Yeah, we have the four of wands. Okay, yeah, because yeah, I'm getting like someone trying to hook you up with somebody. Yeah, somebody's introducing you to someone that they think that would be good for you, fun, flirty, exciting, someone who is very sexy and beautiful. Okay, like a little sex pop with a like with a lot of knowledge. All right. But I feel like this person's going to ignore you initially. But trust me, Scorpion, I feel like you are out of their league anyways. Like I feel like you are bad as hell. 
They're, they could be a lot older than you, or they may underestimate you because you're knowledgeable. Maybe they think you're not fun, or they think you're not attractive. I'm not. I'm getting you're not really attracted to them though. Like you're not. I'm getting the physical attraction is not there. All right. So why are they? Okay. Let's see. Why? Why are you looking this up? This these two people up, or why are, are you being hooked up, Scorpion? Okay. The two of wands, yeah, because it's just it's the right thing to do. It's a good decision. You feel like these two people will be good together. All right. Just period. Two of wands. Or somebody feels like you would be good for this person. Okay, let's see. What is what's the moon card over here? Cause so maybe both maybe both of your friends are single, or uh, maybe you're you're single. Your friends trying to hook you up with somebody they think that would be good for you. I'm getting it is. I am getting somebody who's foreign, uh, foreign or African uh, or African American, whatever you identify with. I'm getting somebody who's melanated. All right, yeah, we have the Knight of Swords. Okay. So the Knight of Swords is here coming out. Yeah, so somebody, somebody, okay, so Scorpion, you're dealing, this person, I think the air sign, they, they move on real quickly. You could be dealing with a Scorpion, because like, or a Leo, if, so, if, this, if this person feels ignored, they move on. They don't give you the chance to ignore them or to play them or to one-up them or anything. It's not even about that with the King of Swords. He's just, he, the King of Swords is like, no bullshit. They don't, they don't, they don't. You know, you're not about to, they're not going to play the game, okay? They're going to be upfront with you. They're going to tell you like it is, what it is, how it is, where it is, all that shit. Like, they're not going to play around. I feel like somebody is playing around. Somebody's like, trying to play with the King of Swords emotions, like Knight of Wands, Five of Swords, trying to be funny, one up this person. They think, I feel like the, I feel like the fire sign thinks that they're better than the air sign or something like that, but they're not. The air sign is, like, moving on from this person. So I, I feel like you, I feel like you're going to, you're going to, like, try to hurry up and try to talk to this person. Like, man, what the fuck is you doing? Like, you missing out on something good. Acting stupid, yeah, trying to, because I, I kind of, what is, what is this? What is the, uh, what is the hermit? Because yeah, I feel like the hermit is a force that is seen, that is, uh, that is felt and not seen. It is a ghost in the room. It is a presence, an entity, or a force surrounding a group of people. Or there's a, there's a force around. So I'm getting, I'm getting, this is like, I'm getting, uh, Scorpion, you are playing the hermit in somebody's life. You are the ghost or uh, somebody's playing the hermit in your life. They're trying to put you together with somebody. This could be, this could be like the universe, your spiritual guides. All right, but somebody's like looking down on you and like trying to give you a get a little blessing. What's the four of wands, ace of cups? Yeah, the king, the queen of swords, and the ace of swords. Yeah, so these two people, the ten of swords. Okay, these two people, their energy matches, but there is some type of mix up or in the like initially. I feel like you're gonna. I feel like you. Got, I feel like you have to check somebody, Scorpio, because they're acting stupid. All right, they're about to miss out on something good because they're they're being like rigid or um, they're they're not acknowledging this person. They're not acknowledging you. What's the two of wands? I feel like somebody just somebody won't communicate or somebody somebody's communication style does not match yours or does not match this person or something like that. Okay, the seven of swords. Yeah, somebody somebody's like playing hard to get or just being lame as hell. Yeah, we have the six of wands. Yeah, I, I feel like two. See, there's two people here. I feel like I'm getting a Leo and an Aquarian. The Aquarian is like, man, I feel like the Leo is very much concerned with like status, likes, comments, subscribes. How many, how many subscribers you got? How many likes you got on IG? I feel like the King of Swords don't give a fuck about that shit. That the, the King of Swords is not enticed by popularity, status, likes, comments, subscribes. They're more enticed by science, you know, space. You know, shit like that. You know, the future, invention, uh, shit like that. But so I feel like I'm getting a I'm getting a Leo Aquarian here, okay. But I kind of feel like the the Aquarian or the Air sign has Leo in them too, cause they 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 move on real quick, like cause they feel like this person's ignoring them, or they feel like this person's too arrogant, and they're they're moving on, like they're like okay, keep deuces. Cause I yeah, cause I'm getting the six of wands, nine of wands, but I'm getting under the king of swords is the queen of wands. So somebody here is like a boy toy or very immature. But I'm, I'm getting like two very stubborn, rigid energies here that you're trying to bring together, or maybe this somebody I don't know. The universe is trying to bring you together with this person. Both of you are like rigid and stubborn as fuck. Yeah, okay. I'm getting both of you are arrogant, or this person. I'm not, you know what, Scorpio? I'm not seeing any cups. Oh, yes, yes. I see Ace of Cups, Three of Cups. I'm not seeing any of your energy at all. So I'm getting, I'm getting this is not even about you. This is about two people that you're trying to put together. 
or there, this is about a situation that you're, you're trying to bring together. Remember, you're trying to bring people together or something like that. Or this could be like a, I'm getting too like you're at a wedding. This is, I'm getting a wedding, a party, house party. It's a lot of people there. All right. You are going to meet someone. All right. What's the Knight of Swords? I, I see you meeting several people, but I do see you like meeting, like you're partying, like you lock eyes with someone. Okay. Yeah. The Knight of, the nine of Cups. They, okay. Five of Wands. Yeah, the, okay. I'm also getting to, you're going to tell this person, this now, if you don't know what the hell this is, you're like, man, what the hell is this? This could be going on behind your back. Somebody's trying to put you together with someone. All right? This person's very popular, very smart. They're very attractive. And they have a lot of options. Or this is you. This is what somebody is telling somebody about you, Scorpio. We'll, we'll see what this is. Yeah, we have the hangman. So if you're like, man, what the hell's going on? Or why is this person acting like this? Or... You know, like, why aren't, why aren't these two people talking what happened? Like, somebody is, I'm getting this a fire sign that's very arrogant or something like that. Or, and the air sign is like, no, okay, well, fuck you. Especially especially if it's an Aquarian, they're like, man, really, really fuck you. Big fucks. Shit. So, I'm getting, like, the Leo, like, wants attention and the Aquarian is like, nah, you, I'm not about to kiss your ass or chase you or nothing. Okay, but I'm getting the Aquarian or the air sign is, like, gorgeous. Or something like that. All right. Or this is you, Scorpio. I, I don't know. You choose what this is. This could be a... Okay, give me a card for Scorpio's son. I just like my... Ooh. Boobie. Hope you guys can see that. <laughs> oh, okay. A little X-rated. Okay. What the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. Okay. It's so crazy that that my boob kind of almost came out in your in your reading, Scorpio. And that's like that's like like so Scorpio in. Okay. But I wasn't. That was totally unintentional. All right. What the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like so this could be you. If you're the one like someone's trying to hook you up with somebody, Scorpio, go ahead and go out with them, date them, see what they're like, give them a chance. All right. Or, you know, this is going on behind your back. Or, like, somebody's like, man, go ahead and talk to them. Go, go ahead. Like, what you waiting on? All right, give me, a, give me a card for Scorpio Moon. Scorpio Moon. Get the fuck outside. Move your ass. Okay, yeah, so somebody's trying to get you to go the hell out. Someone's like, man, take, go, go out. Like, you know, go out. Stop being in the house. You're too young. You're too beautiful to, to always be in the house. Always be fucking working. Go out, have fun, have sex, whatever. Like somebody's trying to get your ass out of the house and into and, and start living your life. Like I feel like I feel like um I don't know, maybe maybe all the people, maybe this person, you're not attracted. I feel like they're not attracted to this person and they're real arrogant though. You're like, wow, excuse me? Because I feel like this is someone, yeah, th the five of pentacles is like that's that, you know, that that's someone's lacking physical, they're lacking physical attraction, excitement, fun. Okay, they're I feel like they're not really your type, but they're acting real stuck up towards you. I feel like they're not even fine. Like this person, I feel like this person not even, is not attractive and they, they act real arrogant. Like you're like, man, how dare you? What the hell with your ass? Okay, give me give me a card. Uh, but I feel like whoever you're trying to put them with or whoever, something, the other, it's a lot of wines here. So somebody, is somebody fine. All right, let's see. But I feel like somebody is real fine and they're single because like somebody's a nerd. They have a hard time connecting with people. I feel like you are trying to help them out, but... I don't know if like people look down on this person or they're they're like they're just too intelligent or something like that. Are this okay? Yeah, okay. Oh, Scorpio rising love. Yeah. So you are loved. Get some, give some. Yeah. So I, I feel like I feel like Scorpio, you love this person. They love you too. I, I'm getting I, I feel like you're doing something for a friend here. You're trying to cheer somebody up because you like them. You have an affinity towards them. You like them. You love them. You just you you like this person. You know, you like you like seeing from them, hearing from them, or I feel like this person likes you and they want to cheer you up. They want to see you go out and have fun and live in your life the way that you should be, especially if you're young and gorgeous. Stop hiding your beauty or stop hiding. All right, give me a give me a card for Scorpio North Node. Yeah, because I'm being like you are lovable. Like maybe 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 you always complain to this person, like you know, I can never find someone to love to love me. I can't find someone to connect with me. Everybody I find, they leave me. Because you could be complaining to someone and like, okay, I got somebody for you. But they, this person is acting arrogant as fuck too. Like, man, okay, fuck it. So I feel like you got to go back and kind of like talk to somebody like, man, hold up, wait. Like, you know, you're not about to do that to my friend. Okay, let's see. Give me, give me a card. Uh, 
for Scorpion North Node. Give me a card for Scorpion North Node. Okay, yeah, we have money. All right, I, this other card came out of the hole, that vegan shit. I don't know why this card is in there. Step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale, kale and spirulina taste like ass. I don't even know why that card is in the deck or what that even means. How is that even pertaining to a, a tarot reading? But, okay, maybe you need to go on a diet or whatever. Or uh, I'm getting to somebody could be overweight. So I'm getting like, yeah, somebody could be overweight, alone, and uh, wealthy. And you're young, beautiful, attractive, smart, and, and uh, by, you're single. But I, I kind of, I, I feel like somebody, somebody needs somebody, um, whoever this person is that you're being hooked up with or whatever this is, they need to swap, they need to uh, humble them, fuck their fucking selves because they're lonely. They don't have anybody else or like, you know, whatever, whatever this is. Maybe they're old or something like that because the hermit card is the older is old. All right, so it's, it's, yeah, so somebody needs some excitement in their life and you're trying to infuse or you're, you know, you're trying to make this happen or somebody's doing this for you. All right. Okay, let's see. Uh, Oracle card for Scorpion. Yeah, we have sensitivity. Yeah, somebody's, I, thought, I think that's the air sign or I'm getting the fire sign has a very, they're very sensitive. They have a very large ego, but it's easily bruised, but I'm getting like the, the air sign does not care about that. Like, don't stick your, don't turn your nose up at me. Don't think you're better than me or none of that shit. Like, I'm out. You're not, like, Aquarius, they don't like that shit. So if, you, if you're like dealing with an Aquarian and you're trying to, you're, you think like that, that they're the opposite of Leo. So this is, this is like, a, you're trying to get a Leo and Aquarian together. I just, I just kind of feel like the Leo is may push the Aquarian away because they're arrogant. Like the Aquarius like, man. Fuck your popularity. Fuck who you are. I don't give a fuck who you is. Yeah. We have the lots and we have chance. Yeah. So this is, you're trying to make this happen is what I'm kind of getting, Scorpion. The, these, both of these people are very rigid or they're very stubborn or they're very, they could be both fixed. Okay. Leo Aquarius. Those are two fixed signs. Someone's like, man, all right. Fuck you. Fuck you too. All right. <laughs> they're going to come back together though. They're going to, they're going to go out and date. I, I, I feel like you have to, you kind of have to mediate and shit, Scorpion. Yeah, we have service. Okay. Yeah, sweetheart. Yeah, somebody here is someone's beautiful. All right. Yeah, we have constellation and then we have journey. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so this that's what I'm getting. Like this could be like a matchmaking service actually or a dating app, but I feel like you're you're trying to hook two people up here. You're like, man, yeah, at your service. This is what I do. I serve people or I help. I help people find love. Or I put people. I connect people with other people and shit like that. So I'm, I'm getting like, I'm getting too like, I'm hearing like disservice, like constellations, like you speaking to them, talking to them, telling them what's up. It's like uh, you're, because I, I, I hear you saying, man, you're doing yourself a disservice, not talking to them, not going out with them. You're, you're really playing yourself. I, I hear you saying that. Yeah, because somebody's a widower. Yeah, so that's what I'm getting. An older man that is single and a younger, maybe younger woman. This is something that looks very taboo, but whatever. Okay, the money sign tells me this could be a sugar daddy, sugar sugar pot situation. All right, but they both of these people need company. They both need love in their life. The, the hermit card doesn't have to be an older person, but maybe they just act very old or they're, they, they're very rigid or they're, they're very bitter or they just, they just really hold back. Okay, but I, I feel like both of these people need excitement, the night of wine, sex. These people need to have sex with each other or something like that. Maybe you're trying to get them to do that. Maybe they both have a stick up their ass or something like that. Okay, let's see. Give me an oracle card for Scorpion, please. To, uh, find an oracle card to solidify the reading. Yes, I see it says you equals tight ass. Scorpion moon, you're a tight ass or something like that. Or this is something. Yeah, it says power. Hmm, yeah, so somebody here has, yeah, purpose. Yeah, somebody here has, so I'm, so I'm getting Scorpio, yeah. You have the clout or you have the power or you have um, you have enough influence to, to like bring these two people together or it's like you're, it's like both people are listening to you or watching you and you're bringing them together. Maybe even unbeknownst to you, Scorpio, because I don't see your energy at all in the reading. Maybe, maybe you were completely unaware that you're bringing these two lovebirds together or um, you're like facilitating this in some way without even knowing it, all right? 
this is this is this is really cool okay purpose all right so i'm gonna leave it there very interesting reading um uh, thanks for watching bye